Hey guys, welcome out to the channel today. We are going on a little side adventure and then hopefully throwing a project into this video. Uh, as you guys know, I have a small drill press and it's one of the ones from Harbor Freight, the little century or central machinery. And I want, I've been looking for a long time for a floor model drill press and I just happened to come across one a couple months ago and I lost it uh, not because I didn't offer the correct amount but because I was sleeping <laughs> and when I woke up it said that the thing was already sold so I was kind of disappointed and last night a, another drill press popped up for sale it's a Dayton drill press and this is a floor model we're gonna go check it out see uh, what kind of condition it's in and then hopefully bring it back home with us so I'm bringing you guys along for the journey to uh, see what's gonna happen so before I start driving away I scored huge I got the drill press which you can see sitting right here and then there's so much more in this car that I just cram packed in here I'm gonna have to show you guys later all right guys well we are home back from the little estate sale or the picking whatever you want to call it. it wasn't really an estate sale i went there met up with the guy and i was supposed to pick up the drill press and then he said that he had auction stuff and he wanted me to come by and check out stuff so i got a bunch of boxes in here a big box of just goodies some other little boxes and then then I got the drill press, but I'm gonna wait to show you guys that because I wanna get this all set up. What I wanna do, let me see if I can see behind me, hang on. So what I wanna do is that white box right there, out of here. Not using it, not even storing anything in it. I don't want it here. So that's gonna get taken out. That's where the drill press is going to be going. And then I'm thinking about maybe inside the wall to build some kind of like drill bit holder or something like that. But first, I have to get this cleaned up. Look at how messy this is. I gotta get it cleaned up and uh, straightened up, organized, stuff like that. And uh, move that drill press because I'm so excited to get that thing over here so I can use it. Surely. There we have it. It's in its final rest. Well, I don't know if it's final rest in place, but that's exactly where we're going to put it. So, what do we got? Hold on a second. Let me get some light back over here because it got extremely dark. And I moved this one light. I'm hitting everything. Oh, I got a, a light that I forgot to turn back on, too. So we'll turn that on and it's got to heat up. So what do we got here? This is a Dayton drill press floor model. I've been looking all over for one, not this specific drill press, but just a floor drill press and I have finally found one. It needs a handle put on it, but I mean, this works. It'll get me by for right now. But it has all the parts, I believe. I don't think it comes with a top. Kind of looks like a weird alien head, sort of. It's missing the little emblem on the front, but that's okay. I don't need that to actually run it. It looks like it's three speed. Is that how you count it? Three different speeds, three different pulleys on the top. So we ran it over at this place and uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. The uh, main post is rusted. Everything is rusted on this. I mean, it's, that's just what it is. It's just older, so it's gonna be that way. But let's go ahead, get it turned on real quick so that you guys can see it run. And then I gotta get more stuff moved around so that I can get all these other boxes 
and stuff taken care of. There's all sorts of different things in here. This guy must have been like a, uh, I don't know, do everything kind of guy because he had electronic stuff, um, woodworking stuff, metalworking stuff. Um, he had a scroll saw that was gigantic. I mean, it was huge. It had to have been, I think you measure, measure the distance from the blade to the back. And this thing had to have been like, I don't know, 30 inches. It was made by Delta. Enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get this drill press turned on so you guys can actually see it running. All right, so I got it plugged in. Here's the uh, switch. And that thing sounds so smooth. I mean, absolutely smooth as can be. There's no weird vibrations. Usually with some power tools in my shop, I get a vibration on the floor, but this has nothing. I mean, it's, I'm so impressed at this right now. Just like that. Sorry, little guy, you're probably going to get sold. All right, guys, so I finally got this somewhat organized. Not too terrible. But um, I did have to move all my scrap metal pails. And it looks like I'm going to have to go through that and just throw stuff out that I don't need anymore. But anyway, with this video, this is what we're talking about. is a little, uh, little picking here and what I scored for the $60. Now, originally when I found it, I only was going to get the drill press 60 bucks is that that's all I was going to get and then he said no come on in and look around and start asking for prices and I did and then he just started saying hey you know just just include that in the price just include that in a price so what we got was there's two separate cabinets right here six drawers on top six on the bottom two separate blue ones right here and then in the back, there's two separate blue ones. And this guy, he had everything labeled so well, like 10 snips. There's nothing in that one, though. But in, in this one, this is for, like, uh, razors, wood chisels. And you open it up, and sure enough, there is stuff in there. So cutting tools, stuff like that. Not too much in this one. Um, I was kind of, I was pretty respectful of the guy and... Cause it was through the auction company so if he uh if i thought that it was something he could auction off i told him to go ahead and keep it and i double checked with everything before i took it so in this drawer look at this i mean this is a union tool company square micrometers a little slide angle finder uh, what is this? Another angle finder. I mean, there's just all sorts of different little things in here. Uh, there, yeah, there's a uh, little six-inch steer ruler. So yeah, I had uh, two different micrometers in here, which is pretty impressive. I asked him; he didn't want them, so I took them. Um, let's see here. Nothing in that drawer. Random screws. Random screws. In this one, this had a ton of O-rings, stuff like that, and you can always use O-rings. So I don't know what's in this. Yeah, it's just more O-rings, but there's O-rings all over the place in there. Um, mower bolts. So I don't know if I'll ever use those. There's some more O-rings just randomly put in there. So you guys get what I'm saying. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff in here that this guy had. And I mean, heck, I was I was gonna order some of these the other day off Amazon. These are for uh, your hoses. So now I got some. So that's cool. Uh, paint scrapers and stuff. And then spray bottle tips. So, and then with these blue cabinets, this is like all electronic stuff. So you have uh, diodes, resistors, 
stuff like that that's in there you guys see that some resistors are in there uh in this bottom one there's capacitors um audio stuff see in there so i mean th there's just a, a random assortment of stuff in here like like I've, I've never seen it like the the hobbies that this guy had was so broad is incredible it was like he was a do it do everything and then this obviously is just filled and filled with screws washers and nuts and bolts so and this let's put this back let's not mess up the organization here uh all these screws are all mine but he had this this box right here labeled feeler gauges so we'll turn it around we'll open it up one-handed maybe one -handed. hey oh okay one hand one knee so look at all the different types of feeler gauges i mean there's just all sorts of different feeler gauges in here i have my own set but it's it's nice to have extras and now i have a lot so he did a lot of work on the side maybe his own business or something mower business small engine repair so there, there's all sorts of things in here and i'm gonna probably adapt some of my stuff into this because it's so organized so be on the lookout for that should be more organized in my shop here soon so then he had a bunch of stuff just hanging from his rafters and things and uh just cabinets just filled with stuff and i didn't want to take everything so i took just a um a box full and as you can see he had a bunch of hose clamps i took all the hose clamps i could find you can never use enough hose or have enough hose clamps some uh, u clamps i think this is probably for like an exhaust pipe or something like that um air air hose connections and then this is a right angle for your drill so i believe you attach your drill to this piece and then it transfers it to a right angle so that you can get in maybe smaller places or something so i took that <laughs> I've never used one of those, but I saw it. I said, hey, that looks interesting, so I'm gonna use it, or at least take it. Some uh, soldering stuff, chalk line, hooks, more hooks, gaskets I don't even know what goes to, but you know, why not take them? I think this is probably also for uh, exhaust, or maybe for, for uh, headers, maybe. Uh, more bolts, funnel uh chain was hanging up i asked he said he didn't want it again so i took it uh, battery terminal cleaners i think these are called turnbuckles and he had a bunch of them hanging from the ceiling took all of those and then this i was going to leave behind it's just a little plastic cheap one but you know why not take it <laughs> uh coping saw a couple of um oh i'm having a uh a brain fart here um ah, metal cutting saw what do you call those things ah, i can't remember we're, we're continuing on though and uh one interesting thing that he had was a metal bandsaw that used one of these he actually hooked it in and it rotated and it, as it rotated it pushed this back and forth and the thing was so old so keyhole saw american national uh, level this is in fantastic shape paint is a little bad on it but i mean overall it's in great shape i have a four foot level but i did not have a smaller one so that's why i snatched that tons of yard sticks and even a four foot lawn stick so i don't have one of those that was pretty cool so i snatched that up and uh some pulleys over here um i have that craftsman motor that i still need to uh restore or just get it back into using something on it but here's a couple of pulleys that he had this looks like it's probably for a uh, lawnmower I'm not sure about this big one but I'm pretty sure these are probably for a lawnmower some uh, uh things to hone cylinders and then this is all not electronic but electrical stuff fuses um 
connection, stuff like that. I don't even know what's all in there, but I saw the box and said, hey, I have a car. You know, I could always use it later. Uh, tons of blades for a jigsaw. And then he had a massive amount of files. So um, me and the, the guy, the auctioneer guy, went through and he took a couple of the big, big ones. And then he said, take all these. So took all those screws, screw boxes. And I thought these were pretty cool. They, uh, they're just little hooks that screw into something, but I wonder if I can find something for uh, wires to go through. So I'll keep those on the back burner in case I ever need to use those. So he also had a couple, he had actually a lot of hand tools in different drawers, but I, I wasn't going to take those because the guy that's doing the auction could make a lot of money off of that stuff. And I just, I wouldn't feel good about that. But I did get a couple of little tools. So I have some needle nose pliers. I'm not sure what these are for exactly, but I can always use them for somewhere. So I gotta get them. And then the this is the tiniest pair of channel locks that I've ever seen. And then we have some cutters as well that are very tiny. So that is all I have for you guys. Sorry this video is so long just talking about tools, you know, but that's what I'm here for is just to talk about tools, you know, cars, woodworking, metalworking, stuff like that. And man, today was a good day. Today was my first picking experience ever and it was fantastic. Uh, I plan on doing a couple more and going to more auctions, stuff like that. So thanks guys for joining me today. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, Dayton drill press. If you guys have any information on it um, or if you guys see something that was missing on it that I cannot tell offhand, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about today's pick. If I did good, if I did not, if you guys would have passed over the drill press or anything else, let me know. Just leave it in the comment section down below. Guys, thanks for joining me. New videos every Sunday. That's going to be the new uh, new thing. So check it out. Every Sunday you'll have a new video. And uh, thanks for joining me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. So you guys know when I post it. I'll see you guys on the next video next week.